Welcome to this edition of Inside City Hall for August 2018. I'm Birmingham City Manager Joe Valentine. This month, we'll review the status of the Old Woodward Reconstruction Project as it nears completion. We'll be joined by the city's assistant city engineer, Austin Fletcher, as contractors put the final touches on the four-month project. We'll also meet one of the city's merchants, Chris Lampin Crowell, whose business, Gazelle Sports, was in the center of the project in downtown Birmingham. And we'll discuss the city's retail action plans with the Birmingham Shopping District Executive Director, Ingrid Tai. To begin, let's start with Assistant City Engineer, Austin Fletcher. Austin, welcome. Thank you, glad to be here. Appreciate you joining us. Uh, we're actually coming to the conclusion of this project here in the next, few, well, during August, in the next few weeks. And there's a lot that's happened and a lot that is gonna make a, uh, big improvements in the city. Uh, do you want to just talk about a little bit about what's happened over the last several months uh, in terms of the status of the project and where we are now and where we're going to go? Sure. The installation of the new city sidewalks was one of the last major hurdles that we had to accomplish to get this project completed. Um, right now, as we prepare to open Old Woodward up for the reopening, um, the contractor is working currently on installing traffic signals, meter, meter posts, meter, parking meters, new pavement markings, and city street lights. Um, in addition, the extensive landscaping will continue with the installation of new city trees and other vegetation throughout the project. Finally, the contractor will work on completing the new city's electrical system and installing new outlets throughout the project area. A lot of new things coming in with this project. Absolutely. Overall, how has the project gone from your perspective? From our perspective, it's gone very, rather smoothly uh, considering the scope and size of the project. Um, we did face major challenges early on with the infrastructure removal, uh, specifically at the corner of Maple and Old Woodward. Um, this forced us to close Maple Road sooner and longer than anticipated to ensure the safety of the construction workers and the general public, as well as to keep the project on schedule. Uh, we've been fortunate to have uh, good weather throughout most of the project. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't lose very many days for inclement weather. I'm happy to report right now, as, as we are, the uh, project is relatively on schedule and within budget, and we're very pleased with the outcome. Well, that's good, no good news to hear. And as we go forward, you talked a little bit about some of the new amenities that we're going to be seeing. Can you elaborate on that in terms of what's going to really be new with this new project? No, absolutely. We've uh, increased the width of the sidewalks to increase the walkability of the city. Uh, people will notice a uh, mid-block crossing between Merrill and, and Maple to help ensure the safe crossing of Old Woodward. We've in, uh, installed granite seating areas throughout the uh, downtown to enhance the uh, downtown experience for visitors and residents. We've installed uh, electrical outlets, charging stations throughout the city project for people to sell, charge their cell phones or iPads, also to help with the uh, holiday lighting and things of that nature. We did irrigation for the, uh, the, the city trees, the new large city trees. We put in larger planter boxes for the trees to help them mature and grow quicker and better. So we want to keep them looking good, so the irrigation system will play a big part in that. Absolutely. So a lot of real enhancements and more to come. This yep. is obviously a significant section of downtown, and we're doing everything we can to make it look good. So I applaud you and your team and the engineering department for everything you've done to keep this project on task this well, so thus far. We appreciate it. We've also been blessed to have a very good contractor out on site as well. Great. Next, I'd like to welcome Chris Lampin Crowell with Gazelle Sports. Uh, and you're really kind of at the, mecca center, the epicenter of uh, downtown Birmingham here, right in the heart of this construction project. Yeah, we feel blessed that we are in the heart of downtown Birmingham. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, so thanks, Joe. So maybe to get started, you can just tell us a little bit about your business and what enticed you to come to Birmingham, because you came just right before this project started. Yeah, actually, we're 33 years old. We started in uh, downtown Kalamazoo, actually, and so have gone through a, a number of iterations of construction in downtown Kalamazoo <laughs> over 33 years. Um, but uh, d downtown Birmingham is actually our fifth location you know, of Gazelle Sports, all in the state of Michigan, love Michigan. Um, and we, we came to Birmingham, actually, we were thrilled to you know look at a downtown that was functioning retail wise uh, residential dining uh, entertainment the whole uh, co combination of what makes great downtowns uh, was working in downtown Birmingham and we actually signed a lease in 2014 um, to be uh, uh, in this site on uh, uh, our site on uh, Woodward or um, excuse me Maple and Pierce well all of a sudden the construction happened to us where we had a, a, a landlord that decided to rebuild that building. So we had to wait for two years while that was, we were under construction and we opened in uh, late 2016. Um, and so we've kind of been in this uh, stage here in Birmingham, but we are so thrilled to be here and uh, feel blessed to be part of a, a really active, functional downtown. Well, that's great. And I'm 
glad to hear that business has been going well for you since that time and look forward to having you for many years to come. Thank you. Yeah, we're, you know, we, we, we started a couple things in, in Birmingham where we, we are unique uh, because what we want to do is um, not just sell product, but we want a healthier community. And so we started a thing called Moms on the Move. Every Wednesday we have moms come together throughout the year and do different, whether it's run, walk, yoga, do different things with their kids or without their kids. And so that's fun. We started a whole thing called Birmingham Moves, which is a walking group um, every Tuesday at 630. And so we have all kinds of people that are walking with us so it's real inclusive and so yeah we we, we don't want to just be a retail merchant we want to be part of this community that's building a healthy wonderful community active and li uh, healthy living as a walkable community you picked the right space yeah thank you <laughs> yeah so tell us a little about from your perspective how have things gone with this project yeah so the project um, number one I think um, the project has gone very well in terms of communication um, communication from the city, communication from the BSD um, has been excellent from my perspective. We know what's going on. We get, you know, really clear updates um, and some that we, we aren't, aren't that happy that Maple's going to be closed <laughs> earlier, <laughs> but, but at least we know, so, so, so that's good. Um, it, you know, for, for us, just, you know, business-wise, um, we, we didn't hit projections during these three, last three months. Um, that's not uh, great, but we also knew that that was coming. We did some promotions around that. Um, but we also are looking forward to, um, you know, the next step. I think we're going to see a big influx of uh, customers and uh, happy city residents and stuff coming, coming downtown. So we're, we're really looking at making all of, all of that up. Um, but I think <clears throat> really the, the, the things that have, have gone well um, are that the construction people were uh, from, this is my staff saying, they were very nice and cordial. You know, it wasn't like, you know, an us versus them feel. There was kind of a, like we're in this together. Um, so there was good, good communication that way. Um, we, uh, we had Saturday free parking, um, a decision that um, I think the BSD made with the city. Um, that was very valuable. We heard really good things about that. Um, you know, we'd love to keep that going. Um, <laughs> and then we had uh, the, the valet parking actually um, was, was really positive. Um, there were more valet stations and we heard an, a number of our customers appreciating that. Um, Let's face it, construction isn't fun. Customers are confused. They don't like it. They're going to avoid it. So anything that can bring down that anxiety and make mm. fe people feel welcome is, 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 is really important. Um, and then this, the, the, the Birmingham Bucks actually worked uh, very well. So we gave out a lot. We actually did a promotion this last couple weeks for Birmingham Bucks where you brought in bucks. If you had spent your bucks, we, we entered you into a contest to win free stuff. So, so we had people that really utilized that. And we found that, interesting, visitors liked the Birmingham Bucks. So people that came in getting Birmingham Bucks, they were going out and right immediately using those. Mm -hmm. so, so there was a number of things that I think worked well. Um, but overall, you know, we're looking forward to the end of construction. <laughs> <laughs> As we all are. Yeah. Uh, but this is the first phase of a three-phase project, taking into account we're going to be doing Maple in a couple of years and then South Old Woodward as well. I think there's lessons learned with this first phase that we can carry forward and improve upon as we go forward with the other phases and really try to make it as easy as possible for all the businesses that are in downtown during these construction phases. That's great to hear, yeah. I mean. I think <clears throat> for us, as I said, we've gone through downtown construction in, in downtown Kalamazoo and downtown Holland. Um, they learned the same, some, some of the same things. But I think so, so, you know, we're excited that we're in a downtown that is reinvesting in downtown. I will tell you that because if you're not reinvesting in the environment that people are coming to, um, you're, you're, you're going backwards. Um, because Very true. And what's happening is, you know, like you said, walkable communities. The last weekend, when it was a nice weekend, people started walking around. There was a buzz in the air um, that people were really happy to see this, and so I think the pedestrian walkability is going to be a huge factor. I, I really think the beautification of downtown uh, is significant, and 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 in, environment matters. I mean, you can't just say, oh, my product or my price. It's it's the environment. We people we want an experience, so. 
Bur downtown Birmingham is investing experience that as a merchant, I'm saying, I'm applauding, thank you. So from a business owner's perspective, what elements do you think have made the biggest impact with this project? Yeah, I, th I, I think it is the streetscape and, uh, and, and what you're doing uh, with the plantings and the uh, la uh, landscaping and um, this, this is, it, it already feels better and it's not even complete, so I think that, that those kind of things are going to uh, attract, they're, they're going to attract people that live in the area, but also the, the tourists and the visitors that come into this area are going to go, yeah, I love that downtown, and the ripple effect is going to be very positive. That's what we're hoping for. Well, Chris, thank you for joining us. I appreciate your time today. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome Ingrid Tai back to the show. and. Hi. We'll talk a little bit about the business climate in downtown Birmingham as a result of this construction project. And um, from your perspective overall, from the overall business, downtown business environment, can you share with us what you've seen and experienced uh, in your role as BSD director? Yes. Um, so overall, the construction has gone pretty well in terms of how the business community and the downtown community has fared. Uh, when I've walked around and talked to merchants on a regular basis, the feedback has been interesting. Uh, I have a handful of merchants who said that they're actually having a record summer, which is great news, and that was fantastic to hear. I also have a, a group that said they've remained steady and they've been hanging in there throughout the construction. And then, of course, we've had some merchants who said that it's been a little slower, they haven't hit uh, projected numbers, but they were aware of the construction going into it, you know, about a year or so. so Thankfully, they had the opportunity to plan for this construction financially, and they were prepared to weather the storm. So uh, overall, from that perspective, we've done pretty well. Um, I think that what uh, Chris mentioned, a couple of the programs that we implemented were huge home runs in terms of the excitement and the energy behind the Birmingham Bonus Bucks program. We allocated $50,000 towards that, and that was where if a customer made um, a certain amount of, um, or a, they purchased a certain amount of money uh, products, they earned bucks. And we exhausted that $50,000. People were really excited to get that um, free money to put towards future purchases, and so it was a very valuable tool to continue to promote um, shopping downtown. In addition, the valet stands were a huge hit. Um, we had over 800 cars every week being parked in um, our valet stands, which is really great. Our merchants found it very valuable. It was a great incentive to uh, try to get customers to come back and shop, and, and the customers also really liked it. So. And on that point with the valet, that's a program we're actually going to be continuing now throughout the fall. Right, yes. On a modified version, with only have two locations, but we're going to continue that valet opportunity because we realized during this process that it actually worked well and people wanted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we're very, very excited. So, so yeah, so those are uh, two programs that we are very happy about, and uh, they really contributed to the success, we think, of the downtown community. So when you talk about success, let's talk about occupancy rates for mm -hmm. a minute. How do we look on occupancy rates in downtown Birmingham at the present time? Yeah, despite the construction, <laughs> Our retail occupancy is still at 96%, mm -hmm. and our office is at 89%, so we're in a very strong position, uh, but we're not resting on our laurels. We still have a few percent we can fill. So we have been working with a national retail consultant. Um, what this retail consultant has done is they've done analysis of who is the Birmingham uh, shopper, and then they've looked at who are retailers out across the nation that would be a great fit, that have the same type of shopper that we have, and they've given those recommendations and and made those connections for us and then I attended the International Conference of Shopping Centers uh, that's in Las Vegas and I attended that this past May. I was doing some prospecting there on behalf of the BSD and had a lot of great meetings with retailers, brokers, advisors, consultants, all selling the attributes and the assets that downtown Birmingham has and is implementing as we speak with the construction. So we were getting some interest and we continue to follow up on some of those leads and try to recruit some of those new retailers into the city. So we're very excited and we're, we continue to work away behind the scenes. Um, yeah. Another great thing too is on the business side, Spotify, which is a international uh, music streaming service. They just announced that they're putting an office in downtown Birmingham. So that was um, a great win for downtown. And when we talked to the broker representing them, they said that the walkable 
downtown community with amenities such as great restaurants, retail, parks nearby, the parking garages, all of those were aspects that they found very attractive in terms of locating their business. So it's a great place to work, it's a great place to dine, and it's a great place to shop. So we are just continuing to get that message out there about downtown Birmingham. Well, hopefully this new streetscape and the new downtown and atmosphere helps you and your efforts mm -hmm. to bring in some of these new tenants into, into our community mm -hmm. uh, and finding a place that they find is going to be an environment they'll be successful. Yes, and as Austin mentioned, these wider sidewalks, beautiful trees, the flowers, the plants, all of those are things that are attractive to the customer and attractive to the businesses. So these improvements are only going to just make it better. And uh, they're going to even make it better for things such as Birmingham Shopping District, events that we hold, restaurant week, it's going to be more enjoyable, people can get in and out. Uh, we have of course our winter market that takes place in the winter so they can come enjoy downtown. We do so many events in the city, uh, day in the town, all these things that take place so now customers can really reap the rewards of all this hard work. So as this hard work concludes and we get Austin gets finalized on all his contractors, when's this going to be open and when can people expect to come down and enjoy downtown Birmingham? Well to celebrate the end of construction and the opening of the streets on August 11th we are having our annual day on the town event. That is the day that Birmingham goes on sale. Some of our retailers sell their products for up to 75% off. This has been an annual tradition but we are having it and hosting it a little later this year to time it in conjunction with the opening of the city and we'll have a great ribbon cutting and a celebration music bands entertainment to celebrate all this hard work we've got to celebrate the win we're going to bring in people so now people can come in not only see the brand new downtown but they can also get some great shopping done while they're here so it's what a great, great for plan. everybody yep it's a win-win for everybody It'll be a great kickoff and showcasing the downtown and yeah. picking up something that's on sale at the same time yes exactly yeah Great. Well, a lot happening. A lot is going to be happening. Make a note, August 11th uh, in downtown Birmingham for the reopening of downtown Birmingham. Uh, bring your uh, families, your kids, and, and spend a day shopping in the streets of downtown Birmingham and enjoying the new streetscape. So thank you all again for your time today, and uh, appreciate all your efforts in keeping our downtown looking good and being filled and with some great businesses. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And now, an update on what some of our city boards and committees are working on for the month of August. Included are some tentative agenda items to be discussed this month. For a full and up-to-date list of agenda items, please visit the city's website at www.bhamgov.org for additional details. The City Commission will be meeting this month on August 13th and August 27th. Both meetings will take place at 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. On August 13th, the Commission will hold a public hearing to consider the rezoning of 469-479 South Old Woodward, the Old Mountain King Restaurant. The Commission will also hold a public hearing for a special land use permit for 225 East Maple, the Social Kitchen and Bar. In addition, the Commission will be presented with recommendations from the City's Parking Consultant and recommendations to improve alley maintenance. On August 27th, the Commission will review and discuss the bus, bus shelter priority list. The Advisory Parking Committee will not meet this month, but will hold its next meeting on September 5th at 7.30 a.m. at City Hall. The Multimodal Transportation Board will meet on August 2nd at 6 p.m. at City Hall. The Board will review and discuss bike sharing in the City. The Planning Board will hold one meeting this month on August 8th. The Planning Board will meet at 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. It will hold a public hearing to consider modifications to the Bistro regulations. The City's Parks and Recreation Board will meet on August 14th at 6.30 p.m. at the Department of Public Services. It will review and discuss the Parks and Recreation Capital Projects Priority List. It will also get an update on the Kenning Park Ball Field Project. And now, let's take a look at some of the upcoming events and activities in the City this month, as well as some noteworthy dates to remember. Remember to make your voice heard and vote on Primary Election Day on Tuesday, August 7th. Polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. The public is invited to attend the city's popular In the Park Concert Series this month with concerts scheduled for the first three Wednesdays of the month, August 1st, August 8th, and August 15th. The concerts are held in Shane Park in downtown Birmingham. For more information on the scheduled performers, visit www.bhamgov.org backslash summerconcerts. You are encouraged to come to the Birmingham Farmer's Market every Sunday morning this summer and fall. 
Mark your calendars for Sunday, August 12th for the Corn Festival. The Farmer's Market opens at 9 a.m. and runs until 2 p.m. in parking lot number 6. A reminder that the city's signature shopping event, Day on the Town, will be held Saturday, August 11th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. The public is also invited to attend the official ribbon cutting of Old Woodward as we celebrate the end of construction. The ribbon cutting ceremony will take place at the intersection of Old Woodward and Maple starting at 9 a.m. Speaking of Old Woodward, come downtown on Saturday, August 18th and check out some of the classic cars as the Woodward Dream Cruise rolls back into town. The city's annual Birmingham Cruise event runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. that Saturday. And don't forget to check out the movie night this month in Booth Park on Friday, August 24th. Attendees can enjoy free popcorn, water, and ice cream. Pre-show entertainment precedes the movie, which starts at dusk, approximately 8.45 p.m. More information, including the schedule of movies, can be found on the Birmingham Shopping District website at www.allinbirmingham.com. And a reminder, Friday, August 31st is the last day to pay your July 2018 property taxes without penalty. For more information on these and other initiatives, you are encouraged to sign up for our electronic notification tools that will email or text information directly to you on areas of the city that you select. You can access these tools at www.bhamgov.org backslash stay in touch. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you back here next month inside City Hall.